move and it hit Donkey Kong as well. Right, wow. So I would imagine the buff ASK has something to do with that. Maybe. If it's not that, I have no idea what it could be. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. Alright, so we've got Zero Suit. Alright. Um, I feel like Zero Suit still does really well versus heavies, but we'll see. She definitely does as well. I, like, I think she still does equally as well. You just need to play a little bit differently. Yeah, like you're not just like. Not just going for grabs. Right, you're not just you know, now getting you're, the ladder. Now you're going for fairs. Yeah, exactly. Because that move actually works in the game. I went and played Smash 4 at it was Nimbus. I guess someone brought a setup. Oh, yeah, yeah. And her fair was hot garbage. <laughs> Dang, did he just taunt in his face? He just taunted in his face, dude. Yeah. He really wanted to. Oh, uh, what? That was. That was weird. The second hit didn't connect, right? No, it did not. Yeah. That was first hit auto cancel and to, re to re grab. He really wants a uh, ASK buff. Okay, so the one heavy that I don't think is there to beat him or Donkey Kong. Oh, oh that's that, still good. Okay, we'll come back. But catches the, the foot jump. Man, that zero suit double jump is so good. Oh, wow, I'm surprised he didn't up smash there. Probably because you, you saw that PL kind of de out to the left of there, so I didn't think it connected. Oh, okay. wow. He tried to parry that neutral beep, and he almost died for it. That's actually kind of crazy. Ooh, running, running, traded with the back air. Okay. IDK calling, calling out the double jump or the foot jump, but unfortunately misspaced. Okay, come on, people. That doesn't work in this game. <laughs> Hey man, like sometimes you need to leave, you know? <laughs> nah. Nah, that really is. So, I want to see if PL knows Fair 1. Oh, Fair 1. Fair so 1 with Zero Suit is so good in this game, but people don't use it because they're just not comfortable with it. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely different. Because everyone knows Nair Flip Kick. Right. Fair 1 Flip Kick still works in this game, or works in this game now, at a lot higher percents. It's like before Zero Suit had to fish for like a bear or maybe like a. a Boosky got a shield to get a kill, and people were aware of that. But a lot of people aren't aware of that. Fair one can keep leading to like every kill confirmed in the book reserves. Oh wow, the cross up with the down air, but the back air will seal it out here for IDK. PL with a still a very solid lead here, only or yeah, 81 percent here on IDK gets the taser. Ooh, very nice confirm there. Good damage. So play the keyblade game does not want anything to do with Donkey Kong right now. Yeah, very similar of how you played the matchup in Smash 4. Just kind of wait for your opening. You definitely have all the range tools to make Donkey Kong try to come in. And as he's doing so, you can punish him. And he has he has the percent leader. So IDK has to do something, and there's... Ooh. Okay. Yeah, yeah we'll match out of time. Well, that's another thing, too. The, the grounded animation from Flip Kick, if you just do it on the ground regularly, oh, yeah, no, that thing, it's so long. You stay there forever. Okay, calling out the double jump with the boost. Let's see that stock out. Yeah, really good call out right there. Um, Going to get this early stock. Only 19%. Pretty much a whole entire stock lead here for PL. What's the combo here? Ooh, Ooh. nice 43. Almost gets the platform reset as well. All right. And not going to go for that boost kick. Just going to yeah. cash out with the damage there. Oh, so man. yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. Still okay. going. Oh, oh yeah. Calls, calls out the double jump in. Yeah. Wow, what? Wow. That IDK could not play the game that like, went for the last from, two stocks. That went from, like, they're doing they're trading back in neutral. They're kind of going back and forth at right. each other. And then just PL is like, nah, you're not playing anymore. Yeah. PL did a really good job of staying at, like, mid-range. Didn't. He was, like... Pulling out a lot of safe pressure, yeah. and it was really, really hard for IDK. Charge neutral B is there. It's just yeah. kind of fading back, running away. Yep. Even like side B is really strong in this game too. So yeah, it's really good. spacing with side B is like another option as well. On top of Zare, on top of you know charge neutral B as well. And a lot of people aren't aware if Zero Suit holds side B, it has one extra hit that pops you up and hooks towards it. Right. And a lot of people get caught off guard about that one. Yeah. There have been so many times where a player and they'll shield side B, but I'll hold it and they'll drop shield at like. One before the final hit, and they, they just look so confused. Like, what happened? Right. And, like, for the most part, if you DI that away, you shouldn't be getting comboed, right? Yeah, no. It doesn't really combo past, like, 20%. Right. But, like, it, it pops you up, which is, like, a, a fair, like, a pretty good position. Yeah, it puts you above her, but it doesn't really combo if you just pull away. So it looks like Kalos is the pick here. Very large stage. Oh, wall jump. Oh, oh unfortunate. Don't know why he decided to hit, to kick. Yeah, I think he would have lived if he just didn't oh, no, kick, he, right? if, he, if he didn't kick, yeah, he would have recovered easily. Just turn around boost kick. Yeah. Okay, wow. Starting this uh, match with a entire stock deficit here. IDK would definitely take that to the bank. 
Kalos already working out for him, man. <laughs> Baiting people into those wall jump SDs. Exactly what I've picked. Oh, that's for. happened a lot today. I don't know for what reason why, but a lot of people have SD today during game two. Yeah, you're right. All right, so right now, since IDK has a stock lead, he doesn't have to find a way into Zero Suit. He has to just make sure he doesn't get pelted by all these things. Right now, wait, gets the extension. Wow, almost picks it up. Oh. Tries to get the kick, the wall jump. Yeah, it gets a little bit green with the flip kick. Yeah, he didn't die for it. I, I definitely see, oh, this, is this up you going to kill? Yes. Oh, oh, wow, no. That that was, it, it's interesting that he's able to, like, carry Donkey Kong, like, closer. Yeah, oh, this that one will kill, kill yeah. yeah. For sure. Okay, so Kalos, the pick here. And right now, IDK finally two stocks to two with PL. But he does have a tremendous lead here. The parry is not going to pay off. I feel like IDK is playing just a little bit too aggressive even when he has the lead. Zero Suit does have safe, air safe arrows on the shield, but it's still not like Donkey Kong had to do too much about it. Yeah, I feel like for the most part, it's just hard because IDK is suffering because every time PL does approach, he's going in the shield. But he's so big, it's hard to like move around Zero Suit's options. So it's like, well, what else do I have kind of thing? Yeah. Oh, that almost killed. Yeah, the base knockback on the four cover throw is really strong, but I believe knockback growth wise, down throw is better. Yeah, I was actually curious. I, I was wondering if down throw would have killed, but okay, this should be another stock here for yeah, PL. That is really close to the ledge. Yeah, and yeah, just gonna being that close, not gonna have enough area to have that DI down really play a factor here. I feel IDK like ha having really good parries, but I feel like his out of parry options aren't really yeah, good. Yeah, he's not reacting in time for them. And to be fair, it's extremely hard oh, to like get hard. a par parry, especially against a character that has cross-up potential. Yeah. Because you almost have to like read or like be darn good and fast at reacting and being like, okay, he crossed me up. Yeah, like, but Donkey Kong still has that up tilt, which goes Covers all the guys. So I feel like even if you're not really good with parrying, I feel like you should train your muscle memory to be like, okay, I got a parry. What's my best option to cover as many things as possible? Right. Because even if you're even if it doesn't connect. It's still better to have a potential to get something than just kind of just being confused and throwing on random arrow. Yeah, exactly. So PL getting a little greedy with that uh, foot kick. And right now, IDK has a little ray of hope at the end of the tunnel here. One stock each. Going to pick it up? No. I wonder why he's been going for, like, Garen back in front of just going for the Garen percent with the Ding Dong. Yeah, very, I'm, I'm very curious, too. I mean, maybe with the Rage, it's not online yet. Okay. See, and right there, we see PL. Right when he gets the parry, he just used the option, like, oh, I cover both sides. Oh, that's good. He's dead. Yep. Oh, he had he he the double jump. jump. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh. I, thought he, I thought I was gone. Dang, I would have I would have risked it with the biscuit and gone for that giant punch. But IDK not willing to pull the trigger. The game's still going on, though. He still has a chance to win this. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be Barbear. I oh, yeah. I feel heavily that was supposed to be Barbear right there. Okay, not going to go for the parry. Just going to jump over the projectile off stage here. PL has the ledge control. IDK has done a really good job. He's got max rage, 73% on the ZSS. The forward air. Oh, and there's a the down smash. Yep. I feel like IDK is starting to shat, shat and shield more. There's not much Zero Suit can do with that. Maybe a tech chase situation with only percents and get yeah. it off stage. But doesn't really get anything too significant off of grabs now. So I feel like if he sat in the shield just a bit more, he might have done a little bit better. Yeah. But I'm not too sure about that. A very so. solid 2-0 coming out from PL there against IDK. Ah, uh, just 